Hello and welcome. I'm Ariana from Locus, and in this video, I will be showing you how to add a time entry in Locus. Now, there are multiple ways for you to add a time entry in Locus, although the quickest and easiest way is to select the time symbol on the top right corner. This will always appear on your screen no matter where you navigate within Locus. So as soon as you click on this time symbol, you will be able to add a new time entry by pressing the play button or pause that time entry as well as start a different one. You can also associate your time entries with a matter so that you don't have to do that later. And once you go to that matter card in the matters page, you will be able to see any time entries that you have created associated with that matter through here. You can also add a description for the activity that you are working on. You can also edit these and add a matter name after or change the duration or add a activity category if those correspond to you. Another way to add a time entry is through the plus button on the top right corner, which also always appears in Locus for you. Once you click on that, you can scroll down to add a time entry. Through here, you can add a new time entry and associate it with the matter as well as access UTBMS task codes. If those apply to you, you can add those in your settings. You can also apply a discount for that time entry or add a description for what you're working on. Another way to add a time entry is to go directly to activities and select add time entry, which has the same format that you saw earlier, where you can add a time entry and associate it with a matter as well or apply anything else that's relevant to you. Another way to add a time entry is directly through your matter or leads card. So if you go to matters or leads and you select a client and you go to their time section, you will be able to see any time entries that you have created for that client, as well as add any new ones or edit the current ones that you have. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to our support team at support at Thanks for watching.